Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an important sky and a fortunate sky, but it's different for you because you are at the heart of the most fortunate occurrence to take place this month. And I would even go so far as to say it is going to be this month right around the 14th, that is the most luckiest day of the year for you. So this is happening right around the 14th. If your birthday falls within five days of this, then this energy is gonna be with you and bless you all year. But really anyone with important Aries placements in their chart, Aries sun, Aries moon, Aries rising, is going to find the middle of the month to be especially powerful. And it is this beautiful connection taking place between the sun and Jupiter, supremely harmonious connection that astrologers call a trine that will add an element of expansion and just sheer possibility to the actions that you take around that time. But the thing is what's happening before then, which is gonna provide the motivation, the strength and the impetus to carry this energy to its highest potential. And it really comes down to the new moon. Right around the fifth of the month, we are going to have a new moon in your sign. This is the only new moon in your sign this year. And this is your personal new year. Now this new moon will be speaking in harmony with Jupiter, but also speaking in tension with Saturn and with Pluto. Now it's those conversations of tension that I think are the most important and are the most meaningful because it means you're not likely to be lazy about anything right about now. It means that you are motivated to change and that you are determined to transform your circumstances for the better. And it is that sense of deep motivation and a desire to make changes that actually are gonna count and make your life better in practical ways that ensure you take the actions, you take the chances, you ask yourself some difficult questions that will ultimately set the stage so that you can make the most of your luckiest day of the year, which again is happening right around the 14th. Now, you wanna give this two days on either side just because it is that strong an energy. And if there is, a space where you've been hoping for that right moment to take the right action that you hope will make a difference. Well, I would encourage you to do it right around this date. There is so much that's so good here that is going to work over time in your favor. Now with this new moon in your sign, with this configuration of the sun and Jupiter, the focus is on you. It's about your identity, about who you know yourself to be, what you know to be true about you. It has to do with what matters to you most and what matters to you first. And chances are there's going to be some clarity, some evolution, but more importantly, some action in support of some new answers you find. Now, for some of you, it may be related to your professional life. It may be related to some goals that you have that are sort of on the sideline, but actually you wanna bring them more into the main, more into alignment with what you're doing more of the time. It could be related to a matter, not just about your professional goals, but personal goals at that and your own happiness and your own fulfillment. This is really about you being honest with you about what hasn't worked and making peace with it, but more importantly, where it is that you truly are open to sacrifice. You truly are open to put in the time so that you're gonna see tangible results. Now that little bit of willingness can go a very long way now, but the truth is that there is just such a wonderful backing by this universe for you this month that as much as it may feel like you've gotta do something and it doesn't feel as good as you would like, that is actually gonna work so well for you because the stuff that is good is so good that you'll be able to make the most of it to change your circumstances and move them in a more optimistic direction. Now, when we are talking about matters of heart, of course, we have to talk about love as well, because very often what makes us aware of what we really want or what we really feel or shows us some truth about 
what we believe about ourselves, well, it tends to come up in moments of love, desire, and attraction. And if you remember last month, we had a full moon in your opposite sign. Well, this month, we're going to have a rare second full moon in this same part of the sky, your opposite sign, except that last month it was at the very beginning. This month, it's at the very end of its respective sign, which means that Whereas last month we had that sense of fruition and culmination that full moons bring, there was also a beginning. Now here comes the more meaningful closure, but also very likely some strong emotions are gonna be stirred and will come to the surface at this time. This full moon happening right around the 19th of the month will be speaking in harmony with Jupiter. So we've got that Jupiterian energy once again, the hopeful, the expansive energy, but it is also standing across the sky from Uranus. Now, this isn't what astrologers call a true opposition, meaning that they're not opposite from each other by sign, but by degrees, meaning by mathematical precision, they are opposite to each other. You add to this another element, which is under the same sky, Mercury is going to enter your sign. Mercury will end shadow and enter your sign. This to me says clarity. It says truth around a given situation beyond what it is that you may hope, beyond what it is that you may like. As much as you may be motivated to improve circumstances, there is also a need to be more honest with yourself about where you are in love and why and perhaps in the context of a specific situation. Now this situation may have popped up last month, right? Because it was in the middle to late part of last month that we had the first full moon in this part of the sky, or it may be something really brand new out of nowhere. But if you really sit with it and you look at it, you'll realize that something about what is happening now under the light of this full moon is reflecting, is hearkening to what took place just 28 and a half days earlier at the equinox. So here we are. If you are someone who is open to meeting someone new, well, this could bring with it someone who pops up again that might have been there uh, in your sphere or of interest back in the late part of March. But it could also be someone brand new. And, you know, again, this is seeing things clearly about where you are in love and why. And this is a light bulb moment. Now, regardless of what may or may not happen with a particular person, because as I said, there is a harmonious connection with Jupiter, but it's one that is more of motivation and one that is more of hope. And you are coming to this moment of this full moon riding the energy of that beautiful connection between the sun and your sign and Jupiter, which means that you really are feeling like anything is possible. Now, of course, it certainly is, but there may be a need for a moment where you have to see things a little bit more clearly. And that could come on by surprise, that could come on by delight, but it could also come on by shock. So either of those is possible. It is also possible that there is somebody who declares uh, feelings and you have mixed feelings around that as well. Regardless of what pans out, it is ultimately what you do with the moment that is going to count in the bigger picture. And I do think that beautiful connection with Jupiter means that you'll be taking action that ultimately support you to move you in a more inspired direction and to bring a measure of healing and a measure of hope where it's needed. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this is really going to be a moment of truth, uh, that proverbial light bulb moment, if you will, where you realize what's really going on with this person, what's really going on between you and this person. There may be some uncharacteristic responses or behaviors from you or this other person, but it is in some way going to be very revealing and is then going to allow you to consider where it is if there is any direction that you want to move forward with this person. Regardless of what happens in a moment, the great thing is, is that you're able to unpack it, make sense of it, and ultimately bring a spirit of camaraderie. And it is also possible with this. Remember, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to continue. Of course not. It may. It could be that this is the truth of how intensely you feel for this person, how much you want to continue on with this person. And that opportunity and that realization may be what comes up by surprise. But the key here is it is the truth of what you feel. 
And the truth is ultimately very liberating to you, especially under the light of this full moon. For those of you who are in an established bond, again, I would invite you to consider, was there something, uh, sort of an ongoing issue or something that popped up late last month? If there was, this is where in some way you're going to be returning to it, reconsidering it, and in some way wanting instead to more deeply understand what was. But it could be that a matter that you thought was resolved now pops up once again, and the two of you have to address this. The two of you have to find a way to move forward. I do think that beautiful connection between Jupiter, it does suggest that what is transpiring between you and your partner, it could be related to um, some very different wants that the two of you have. And so it could be that your partner is really wanting to do something, whether it's in their own life, whether it's professionally, um, whether it's financially, which is a possibility as well, given that Uranus is now in a financial part of your sky. These can be some ways in which this energy does play out and you may have a very different way of seeing things or very different desires on your part. The great thing is, is that once it is that feelings, uh, however it was that they might have been dismissed before, however it was that you thought you dealt with them before, now you'll really be able to look at them more clearly and be able to talk about them that much more as well, ultimately bringing a renewed sense of connection by being willing to have that conversation, by being willing to take those steps to understand each other that much more. That work will pay off. That work will bring rewards. What I love about this month for you, of course, it's that beautiful connection between the sun and your sign and Jupiter. Now at this point, it is going to be Jupiter standing still in the sky at its maximum power slowly changing directions, slowly starting to move retro. However, it is in that time frame when a planet is changing directions that its energy is that much more powerful. To have Jupiter in this place speak to the sun in your sign really is as good as it gets for setting up a truly fortunate energy for you. But you are going to have to use it. You are going to have to be proactive with it. The great thing is, is that you have the motivation. The great thing is, the thing that I probably love most about this month for you is that there's no being lazy here for you now. It is very much about you taking ownership for a more inspired vision, a more hopeful future, and knowing that it is your actions that ultimately will be the key to unleashing the magic. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.